Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and I wanted to share with you a piece of EDC kit that has quickly become invaluable for me. I carry this on a daily basis and um, if you're like me and you're into the EDC game, uh, into carrying different types of gear and stuff like that, you know that it's very difficult to find something that will always fit your needs. So it's always something that's evolving. And I think I've pretty much got it down to where um, an evolution that I really, really like with this particular one. And primarily that is because I've been actually carrying this kit in its entirety uh, for a couple months now and um, I really really enjoy it. I uh, you know, I always make sure that it makes it into my pocket and uh, I wanted to go ahead and showcase it for you guys because I think um, it's something that a lot of people might benefit from. So this is obviously one of the small little ED EDC pouches from a company called Viperade and if you guys are familiar with Viperade, they are um, on Amazon and they sell all sorts of pouches. Um, it's a great deal for the price that you're getting. Uh, basically you can get them in different sizes. So this was probably one of the smaller ones that I, as small as I was able to go. Uh, based on what it is that I wanted to go ahead and carry. This particular one is in a black multicam color. I don't know if you guys can see it, so it's got a little bit of multicam around it. So um, this one has two uh, pockets in the front right here, so two larger size pockets there. And then it's got a row of molly right here. Um, I don't know why they would put that besides maybe just to throw like some swag or something like that on there. Uh, but I will, you know, haven't really found a use for it for myself. You can maybe clip something small in there if you really wanted to. In the back, you do have, oh, before I get to the back, you do have a little loop right up here. You can actually run some paracord through there if you wanted to. Maybe hang this around your neck or if you wanted to run a carabiner or clip it onto a bigger bag or something like that, you can go ahead and do that as well. In the bottom section here, you do have a, a field of Velcro if you wanted to go ahead and put on your morale patches. As you see there, I put a couple of those there. And then you have a zipper compartment in the back. So um, as it is, uh, based on what I have inside of it through that zipper compartment, it does get a little chunky, but it is not too big where it won't fit into a pocket, especially if you have cargo pants or cargo shorts or something like that. This will definitely fit in there very nicely. Now, the reason that I like this particular layout is because I have a philosophy that I think that every person should carry at a minimum as part of their EDC three things, and that is a knife, a flashlight, and a pen. And this particular kit allows me to go ahead and carry those three basic things that, again, based on my philosophy, I feel that everybody should carry very, very nicely. The other thing is, um, what's really cool about this is, it's actually helped me to transition my EDC flashlight into this kit right here. So it's something less that I have to have clipped onto my pocket. And the reason for it is because I've never found myself in a situation where I have to pull out my flashlight so quickly that I need to have it clipped onto my pocket. I can always reach it into my pocket and take it out of here and use it if I need to. Um, now, these are the three things that I've decided to put out here, not because they're the best ones, they're just the best ones for me and for you know the way that I carry my kit. I'll go ahead and show you guys what I have out here and then we'll get on to the inside. First we'll start with the knife right here and this is a Swiss Army knife or a Victoria Knox. Um, this one is the compact and I really like this particular model because primarily it's got the tools that I would normally use from a Swiss Army knife and that is you have the large pen blade right there you have a, where are they? Here they are, a large pair of scissors. And those are the two things that I normally use the most from my Swiss Army knives, and that is the scissors primarily. And then to have a backup blade to my EDC blade is always good. And then you also have a, a tool here that has a bottle opener and a flathead screwdriver here that you can also use to, um, you know, uh, if you wanted to scrape or something like that on there. And it does have a little bit of a wire bender right there, which I never would use. Now, besides that, in the back portion right here, you do have a, uh, they call this a package hook. So it allows you to carry packages and stuff like that. I normally don't use that either. And then you do have your corkscrew and the compact actually does come with the little um, mini uh, screwdriver attachment uh, that actually is included with the compact model. I've used that quite a few times to get into like sunglasses to repair the legs and stuff like that. So that is really cool. Now another really option from the compact is you do get your tweezers and you get your toothpick but you also have a little pressurized ballpoint pen right in there. Again, this is not something that I would use as my EDC pen, but it's always good to have a little backup, primarily because I do have my EDC pen right in there. 
As you guys can tell, this is a very slim form factor. So the compact is actually one of my favorite Victoria Knox or Swiss Army knives just because it has exactly what I want, exactly what I need in a compact form factor, hence the name. So I slide that right in there. And then going on to the pen, I just have a small little pen here. This is the O-Pen Mini from Olight. Uh, if you guys haven't seen these, this is a small little EDC pen. This one is just in the orange color. And then it has your action right here, which you go ahead and twist it like that. And the tip comes out. And then if you go ahead and, you know, twist it the other way, it comes, it retracts back in there. Very, very small pen, but I use this all the time. If I had to jot down information, sign my name and stuff like that, this is perfect for that. I'm not gonna be writing out essays or anything like that with it because obviously it is a little bit on the smaller side. Now, one little upgrade that I've done is I actually put in a, um, I saw this modification that somebody posted online and I just put in a different color straw right in there. So basically if you open up the, pen right here and you remove the insert it's just a straw that I've cut down to size and it just fits right in there and it just gives it a little bit of contrast to the orange color so I chose it to go in green or that kind of yellowish green and I think it looks really cool so the O-Pen uh, Mini from Olight is the one that I've chosen to put into this kit because it fits perfectly right next to the flashlight which is the um, i3 this one is the um, i3T from Olight as well this one is actually the titanium version a little bit more expensive than the regular ones, but it does cut down on the weight, and I wanted to go ahead and throw that in there because um, it's a little bit lighter. Right, perfect size for basically the majority of EDC tasks. Um, again, you do you do have two modes. I don't remember what the actual output is. I think it's like 15 lumens and 130 or something like that. Um, and it does use one AAA battery, which is pretty easy to replace. So that is the light that I chose to go right in there. And as you see. Basically everything fits perfectly in there. I don't have to, you know, fid fidget with it too much to get them out to use them or anything like that. If I have to use a pen, I can just push off on the clip right there and it's available. And then the um, knife, I actually just kind of grab the little uh, split ring here. What I might do is I might throw a little bit of a lanyard on there just to make it easier to pull out, but just pull it out and use it if I have to use it. So again, on this side, you have those three tools, which my philosophy dictates are what I would recommend every person carry as part of the EDC. Um, I like this little pouch because it does have this pocket in the back. Now, obviously, without the pocket, it would be a lot slimmer. As it is, I think it's about five inches tall and about three inches um, wide here. And uh, with what I have in here, you're looking at it probably being about an inch and a half thick. So again, not too bulky, but you know, if you didn't want that, they do have, Viperate, I believe, does have some that are um, without the pocket in the back. So it'll just be the pockets in the front. So if you didn't need anything else in there, then you can go ahead and look for some of those. Now, as you open up the um, back pocket here, what I have, and again, this is for my particular usage, is um, I like to have a lot of like feel-good medications with me. So what I have, and I'll take these off and I'll tell you guys what this that is later. Um, what I have in here is this little case that I found on Amazon. Amazon. As you guys can see, it is very, very thin. And I just have in there some feel good medication, meaning some um, stomach and, um, you know, if you have a backache or a headache or something like that, I just have that right in there. So you guys can see, I get quite a bit of it in there. There's some Advil, some Motrin, and then some um, Pepto Bismol tabs. So again, if I have a stomach ache, if I have a headache or something like that, I have what I need right there. It is very, very thin and fits into that pocket very nicely. Now, besides that, obviously I do have my YouTube channel, so I have a little bit of, of swag for my channel. So in there, I just have a couple of these stickers that I had made up, um, you know, which has my YouTube channel on there. And then I had a couple of these um, poker chips made up when I went to a SHOT Show, obviously being in Vegas, I decided to um, throw my channel swag onto a poker chip and this is what I was kind of handing out to people when they were asking me for my business card and stuff like that I would hand that out to them and um, a lot of people got a kick out of that So that is basically what I have in the back little pocket here and as you guys can see the swag and then the little box with the pills and stuff like that fits in there perfectly. It zips up very nicely and it's a nice compact form factor. And I have just grown so much in love with this particular setup that again, you know, it's especially being in the EDC community and trying to find a setup that works is always 
um, you know, a, a process and it's ever changing and stuff like that. So for now, I think it fits very nicely my needs. And I just wanted to go ahead and share with you guys, um, you know, to see if maybe it's something that you might want to look into or something like that. But I think it works very, very awesome. So again, this is a little uh, EDC pouch from Viperade. They're all over Instagram. All you have to do is go ahead and or not Instagram, I'm sorry. Um, they do have an Instagram account, by the way, but um, they're all over Amazon. So if you just search Viperate on Amazon, you'll see all the um, the different styles that they have available, different sizes and colors and stuff like that. I have quite a few of their pouches because I have them set up for different things. But this is the one that I use pretty much on a regular daily basis. And uh, again, this is augmented to some of the other stuff that I carry. Sometimes I might throw in a larger EDC flashlight. I always do have an EDC pocket knife clipped onto my pocket. So um, the compact here is a backup as far as the knife goes to my EDC knife. But for the most part, um, I just throw this in my pocket and then my knife and I have everything that I pretty much need. So there it is. Uh, just to look at my little EDC organizer here from Viperade. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.